So we are live guys, I'm back with another video. Uh, I'm going to Alpington Toy Fair.
hotels. Sorry, right, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Decent bits and pieces. Yeah. <laughs> the stuff we had displayed on the shop, and the kids were messing about, and of course they all fall down, and yeah, then we, yeah. we picked them up at the time. Can I have a look at the turtle spares again? Mm. Yeah, there's a couple of boxes of turtle spares. He's got decent pieces. Yeah, I've gone through this stuff at Sandown, and that he's he's a good there, uh, good yeah, guy. I've got um, this one's got a load of massive, a massive job of turtles. Yeah, yeah. So you want the little bits to go with it. He's definitely got loads because he had like all this, all the bot, everything. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say. Like silly things like. Just like that. Yeah, beat by rock steady, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. the little shield. That's from Ghostbusters, isn't it? I think. No, nope, maybe not. The blimp. Got the blimp, haven't Yeah. Pop that back then, I can get that. No, no, it's got your more room, my friend. That one. That's it. That there's another one there. Oh, there's a few there, to be fair. That's the original colour, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, one of those. 
I need the flag off the foot and I've got a bloody lost it. It's so annoying, it's like 18 quid. It's so stupid like that. It's good that someone does all this stuff though, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's ideal. Yeah. Is there anything you're particular with? I need another nunchuck. Or... Right, I'm going to walk around. Alright, buddy. Let's see you. I've got the set of four, my friend. Have you? How much are you selling them for? And the bike. Oh, yeah. How much are you selling them for? Um, I want to sell the whole set. Yeah. Point, um, I have 20 each on them. Okay. 15 each, 60 quid. Okay. All right, then. I'll think about it. Thank you. Decent little price. Shadow stuff is jumping up. You Ghostbusters. <coughs> What's he got here? Wrestling spares, action heroes, and the 90 Star Wars stuff that we looked at earlier. So guys, that's mostly it. I always say it's a little bit hit and miss. It's some all right stuff, nothing that stands out uh, that I need. It's like my second walk around. Some decent stuff here. Oh, the Doom one went. Good price to be fair. I think he had 25 on it. He's always got good stuff on here to be fair. Little Super Ted. Comics I went through last time I was here. Case for the Game Boy. Cool. Did he had loads of these when he was at Sandown? I think we are done. The done done. But that's it, guys. It's not, you know. <coughs> oh, sorry. You're never going to be here for days on end. That's it. Done. I'm out. As quick as you're in. Quick you're out. Ten minute job. Let's see what I've got back of the car. Welcome back everyone. So apologies if the camera cut out. It wasn't my I don't well, I don't know until I've seen the footage because this is pre-editing. Don't know if it's the best footage I've put together. I wasn't expecting much from this toy fair. Every time I come to the Orpington toy fair, it's mostly centered around trains, cars, model little soldiers. You're starting to get a few of your 80s, 90s toy collectors in there. Uh, you would have seen, hopefully, one of the guys who sells all the accessories, bits and pieces. It's brilliant to see that stuff. And if you want to make complete collections, it's good to go over to him because he's usually got the bits and pieces. Uh, you've had Jason there as well, uh, who does vintage toys. Uh, has a little setup in Welling. I'll try and put a picture in the uh, corner so you can see that as well. Because, uh, yeah, he's got some good pieces. And he was saying that he's uh, now got a NECA account. So he'll be selling NECA bits and pieces, which is always good because I love how the Puppet Master, the new Puppet Master toys look like. But my main reason to go there, guys, today was uh, to see Jason. But he had a toy that I wanted. Wanted to pick it up for a while now. So it was the Dawn of the Dead. I need to give it a little bit of a clean up, but Dawn of the Dead. I absolutely love this movie. Can't say how much I love it. It's definitely one of my favourite movies. I always go back to it. Always re-watching it. And I guess when, when I was a kid as well, so I watched this as a kid, my parents would not let me watch horror movies. So it was like one of those ones they'd either gone out or it's late at night and I'd switch the telly on and I'd watch the movie. And I remember watching Dawn of the Dead. Absolutely love it. Love the, uh, the creativity of it, the way it's all laid out, the, the best part that they're in a shopping centre as well, or a shopping mall, uh, and they take that over and kind of, get up to their own devices and they do what do what they want to do until obviously the biker gang come and try it well boot them out uh but yeah absolutely loved it as a kid i always went back to this movie and i don't know if it's like a lot of other people if you were young when you saw the movie i'd sit there with my friends over the summer holiday when we were bored and we'd like map out 
if there's a zombie invasion, where you'd want to take over, uh, what you'd want with you, where you'd go first and everything, who your little team would be, etc. Uh, and looking at the pros and cons of everything. And then we'd kind of we kind of come back together and go, no, this is why you should go to this place, you shouldn't go to this place. And it'd be like who had the best setup. And we'd kind of pinch uh, the good parts from each other's and put together like a massive plan of what to do. Childhood was awesome, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, this movie, absolutely love it. So I had to go and get this. We'll give it a clean up. Uh, so yeah, excellent. Loving that, loving that. Now, the other bits and pieces I think I went past, the shadow. So them 90 toys are starting to pick up, late 90 toys are starting to pick up now in price. You see them quite a bit. Uh, to be fair, it's a week before payday. If it was payday week, and it, all the toy fairs have kind of felt like this for me this year, is that they've all uh, fallen just a week before my payday. Uh, but if it was, I, if it wasn't, I would have mostly picked up that whole shadow set for 60 quid, uh, the bike and the figures, because it looks pretty decent. Uh, what else was there that I maybe went past? So still there, the Hasbro, which I've done a little bit of filming it, the Hasbro catalogs. So I know when I last spoke to the guy, he wanted £50 for both of them. Uh, there's an action figure one and there's one on board games and everything. The folders alone look so cool. Uh, and if they're there next time, maybe I might get them. Uh, there's only certain catalogues I want from the Hasbro range in terms of your wrestlers and some other bits and pieces but it was cool to see the Jurassic Park figures because I don't know if they got released someone let me know in the comments but I don't remember seeing those vehicles the uh, the dinosaurs or some of those figures so I don't know if they were figures that were never uh, released uh, so yeah that was that was good to see apart from that guys it's like I said before I went in there, it's not the greatest toy fair. I'm thankful to have one, which is literally five minutes away from where I live. Uh, but yeah, I just wish there was more 80s and 90s. But, you know, I wonder if it's that small and there's not a lot of people in there, how much money some of the sellers potentially take. Uh, so, yeah, some of the bigger sellers might not venture down this way to do a sale here. But in all, I enjoy it. I always come when it's on. Uh, definitely look it up in the... Uh, BP Toy Fairs, so I think they're all around Kent, and yeah, definitely check it out, if you're in the area, definitely check it out, I, I wouldn't suggest if you live like a couple of hours away coming down to see it, uh, given obviously the short video that I've done, and you can kind of see around, but if I went past anything, and you guys thought, oh that was decent, got like a little feather or dust going across, uh, yeah, definitely drop it in the comments below, guys, I'm going to leave it there, with my one pickup, the main thing I went for, I was gutted. I thought I might have seen some other bits and pieces that I might have jumped on, but there's a hell of a lot of other collectors in there that I know from the area now that go to the bigger toy affairs, that go to the boot sales, go to the charity shops, etc. I'm seeing everyone now. It's crazy once you start to get in more in depth into the communities, like comics, toys, gaming. You recognise people and you're like, oh, actually, I'm not the only one going out doing this stuff. There's a hell of a lot of other people doing it. Uh, but, yeah, it's all good fun. It's all good fun and it's great meeting people. But on that note, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. See you again next time.